I say to myself, I'll show what I see to my human brothers who can't see it. It's a privilege. I can give them hope and consolation. You're confusing people. You're confusing yourself with your paintings. I am my paintings. What do you mean by consolation and hope? I'd like to share my vision with people who can't see what I see the way I see. Yes, but why? Because my vision is closer to the reality of the world. I can make people feel what it's like yeah, to be alive. fourth Academy Award nomination. You're first in the Best Leading Actor category. And I just have to say that out loud. <laughs> that shot, you know, I'm looking straight down the barrel of a camera. Yeah. I'm speaking to a black hole, but I'm also speaking to myself and I'm trying to really see how I feel about the things that I'm saying. And that was the task. But by that time, I can take his words and they move me, so you let them work on you. Just like reading a poem. Your latest movie, The Lighthouse, is uh, shot entirely in black and white. It's the story of two lighthouse keepers, one played by Robert Pattison, um, and of course you. It's uh, just the two of you in the film during a horrendous storm. Let's take a look at your performance in The Lighthouse. Hey, hey. Handsome lad with eyes, bright as a lady. Come to this rock, play in the tough. You make me laugh with your false wrong. You pretended to some mystery in your origins, but there ain't no mystery. You're an open book, a picture, says I. A painted actress screaming in the footlights. A beach that wants to be coveted for nothing but being born, crying about the silver spoon, what should have been yours? Now look at you, crying. Ooh, ooh. What you gonna do? Why this project? Oh, I had seen Robert Eggers' first film, The Witch, and I thought it was beautifully made. And in fact, it's one of those cases where I spoke to people that represent me and said, get me a meeting with this guy. If he can see something that we could do together, I would love that. And it happened. If Van Gogh was to paint a portrait of a working <laughs> actor, it may very well have been of Willem Dafoe. You have said that, quote, I remember my life by my movies, and tonight we thank you for sharing those memories with us. And now, Willem Dafoe, here are your students. Hi, my name's Estelle Olivia. I'm a third-year actor and playwright. Mm -hmm. And you've spoken beautifully about how costume pieces or settings or working with your team have gifted you with insights into characters. Could you speak a bit about what you do to prepare for a character when you first get a script, when you first decide you want to do it? You know, it depends on that accent very early to get into the text. And then I sit with it. I remember Jennifer Jason Lee, he used to read the script over and over and over and over and over again. And I've started to do that a little bit uh, after I saw her do it. Thanks to make it you, make it your own. Hi, I'm Justin, I'm a third year director. Okay. Uh, you talked about how a good director creates a world that you can just arrive at and play in. Are there any other qualities of directors that you that you really like to see when you arrive on a set. You know, they breathe it, they need it, they, they have a passion for it. And that's what I seek out in the director. 
they aren't just technicians executing. They're people in search of something. And you hop on for the ride and help them try to find it. Thank you. Sure. Uh, hi, I'm Sam. I'm a second year actor. Um, we, we talked a lot about Pedro's favorites, but I want to talk about one of my favorites, which is uh, Spider-Man. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, as a child, tried to fight you and my imagination all the time. Um, anyways, but what I really wanted to actually ask you about was why was Norman a good choice for you, and what was it like reacting off yourself in the mirror scenes? Listen, Spider-Man was a lot of fun. Sam Raimi was passionate. This wasn't a job for him. He felt deeply about this story. He really did. It was a very personal film. Um, the technology was kind of new. We did lots of stuff on wires. I love to do athletic stuff, action stuff. As far as the mirror scene, uh, Sam Rangney gave me Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde to read, for example, for a little inspiration. But there were technical challenges to being in the right place in the mirror, having them see me and then see that reflection. So I talk about tasks. I had lots of technical tasks. Rather than saying that was a pain in the ass, I embrace them. And actually, that helps you. It's like being an athlete. You've got to get there and there and there. That scene was challenging, but fun. Amazing. Thank you. Yeah. Hi. My name is Marcella. I'm a third-year actor. I just wanted to know, out of all the roles that you've done, is there any one that sticks out particularly as the one that made the most impact on you as an artist? Well, it's kind of fresh, but I'd say Van Gogh was big. That will stay with me a very long time. Last Temptation stayed with me for a very long time. I think the ones that dealt with the spiritual life, I guess. <laughs> really. Yeah. Um, Marlene Kihi, hey, I'm a third year actor. Yeah. Um, first question is, what is your favorite word? Oh, this is that thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, boy, you know, you got me wrong shoes. What is your least favorite word? Liquid. <laughs> what turns you on creatively, spiritually, or emotionally? Putting my finger in a light socket. <laughs> what turns you off? Taking my finger out of the light socket. What is your favorite curse word? Um, the sweet one is um, Jeez Louise. <laughs> and the rough one is the triple the shit. <laughs> what sound or noise do you love? <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> what sound or noise do you hate? Uh, someone chewing on cotton with their teeth when their mouth is really dry. That squeak. That's very specific. <laughs> what profession other than your own would you like to attempt? Uh, to have a little Kool-Aid stand and sell Kool-Aid on the street in a <laughs> suburban neighborhood for a quarter. <laughs> what profession would you not like to do? Uh, I'd hate to be in an office all day. If heaven exists, what would you like to hear God say when you arrive at the pearly gates? Stay as long as you like. <laughs> Thank you.
ଝିଅକୁ